Hello friends and welcome to the Mid-America All Indian Center. A site for preserving and educating about the culture of the original Native Americans. And we're very glad to have you along. The sculpture is called Prairie Fire. Prairie Fire. friends and welcome to the Mid-America All Indian Center, a place where you can learn about the heritage and culture of the original American people. And we're so delighted to have you along. Come, come. And of course we have Juliana with us today. Hi and I think you will be very excited to see what's in store. And also it will be very educational for the young people. Now it's time to enter. Requesting permission to enter the teepee. Permission granted. Here we are. Wow. Yes, yeah, plenty of room. You can set up a couple chairs here. A fire in the middle. Refrigerator there. DVD player. Bear skin rug. Get the Nintendo Wii. What? That's what you plug in the Nintendo. Oh, you think about his video games. I'm not leaving. You can go without me. <laughs> I live here now. <gasps> no, you don't. Well, I'm going to stay here for a long time. This is a good place to camp. I think I'll spend a week here. You know what? I just wish I brought a sleeping bag now. <laughs> Get in there with a the sleeping bag. It's a good place to roast some marshmallows. Maybe put some hot dogs on a hanger. You would put marshmallows and hot dogs on the same hanger. Yeah, you would put bologna on a hanger. Oh, yeah. I know your type. Firewood cooking utensils. An altar next to the fireplace. There you put your riding equipment. Like saddles and bridles. Just place it there by the door. And then grab it. Time to take off again. And then you have a sleeping bag in each corner. I don't see the Wii on there. It's on there. As the story goes, a medicine man's granddaughter was very ill and not strong enough to dance on her own. And he had a dream in which a spirit wearing the jingle dress came to him and told him to make one of these dresses and put it on his granddaughter to cure her. What a great story. The mystery is solved. This is called the Loof Jumper. It's a carousel horse called the Indian Pony. And a storybook of the Jingle Dancer. Dress made of tiny bells. Is that 
got like a beaver and a raven or something? Raven and beaver, you were correct. Yay! Tiny boots. So look, those look comfy. Yeah. Why don't you try those on? They're perfect for like going to get the mail. Wow, look at that. It's a miniature keeper of the plains. Look at this interpretation of the keeper. These musical instruments, they're made out of turtle shells. These are all made from turtle shells. Ooh, I love that sound. You'd be a good Gemma. Thank you. This house is the right size for you. Go for it. What do you think? Think you want to stay in there? Can I have it? You know what? I'm afraid that you wouldn't want to come back out of there. Yes, that'd be a nice little tent for you. Here's a little outfit for you. Comes with a little pouch. Aww. I wouldn't have to do my hair. The little shoes. Look at the beadwork on these moccasins. All these beads were done by hand. So you got a buddy there. <laughs> Of so many hidden talents. Paleolithic arrowheads. Arrowheads from the archaic period. The woodland period. And the Mississippian. Bison jaw. Wow. More moccasins. They use porcupine needles to thread these beads. The original Ugg boots. Oh yeah. I'm kidding. Must be good snowshoes. You think these are comfy? Think those are comfy? Uh huh. I think that's a good guess. What about these? Yes. And there's a little man there. See that little man? He's got his tongue sticking out. These are like little elf shoes. These were made for elves. <laughs> Lots of elves. Lots of elves. Little ones. Little ones too. Oh, 
Oh, extremely oh, tiny. Oh my goodness. Yes, there was a little elf walking around. Converse moccasins. Those look cool. <laughs> you want some of those? Uh, yeah, sure. I'd love some. <laughs> <laughs> I love high heels and I love moccasins, so why not combine the two? This is a watercolor done by Black Bear Bosun. Black Bear's the... the keeper? Yes, Black Bear Bosun designed the keeper of the plains and many other works of art around the city of Wichita. And these are all original artworks of his. Here's Tom suntanning. No, that's you waking up and saying, where am I? <laughs> wow. This piece is called Cityscape. This piece is called Storm Eagle. Oh my gosh, don't you have this t-shirt? I wish I did. Here we have a mixed media piece. As you can see, it's three-dimensional. Possibly robots or ancient aliens. A big outer space connection. It looks like it could be. There may be a larger UFO connection here than you have imagined. Somebody looks like he doesn't get his temptations. Just terrible. Great, there is. I love that language. It's so beautiful. Keeper. Like something from a Stephen King book. Tiny people. That's very tiny. because I stand back from the completed piece and gaze in wonder, complete wonderment how I did this. I guess most artists probably feel that way.
tiny version of you. Very small, very, very small. And a little bear. A little tough bear. And uh, they fixed it at some back seat for us. the flags of the area tribes. And the painting over there. The keeper of the plains. Giving thanks to the grand creator welcomes all people to the city of Wichita and to the Great Plains. And we would like to thank all of you for joining us today. We are thankful for your friendship. Very nice to have you along. We'll see you another time.